Super important that you guys aren't just practicing the really hard problems. You have to go back to basics because we're getting close to the finals. And what you can call it, if you really want to do, you can call it the final countdown. <laughs>
nature of compounds. So we learned that the compound is chiral. It has one three-dimensional structure. It also has a non-superimposable mirror image. What do we call those? An antimers. An antimers. <laughs> An antimers. practice to learn those, so hopefully you guys had a model kit or something, but really what you should have been doing is practicing. So really practicing, even if it's just assigning chiral centers. It's something really basic, really simple, requiring lots of repetition, lots of practice, lots of patience, <laughs> doing it again and again until you get it right. And again. Be 